figure that was a leaving it solid be a waste of good cobblestone and dirt. There was a bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> yeah. And you know my theory of don't leave any block behind. Yes, yes, I'm I like, admire that theory. I'm like the Marines, no block left behind. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that new advert on YouTube about the footballers? Mm -mm. <clears throat> well, I'm not going to spoil it for you then. Uh -huh. But keep keep your eye out for like you know when you're watching a video and an advert plays. Yeah. There's there's a guy um, in a sports vest and he says um, I think it's something like I'm going to give you an observation test now. Watch this video and count how many times people in the green vests touch the bo the football. Uh huh. And then it's got a lot a lot of soccer players and some are in green vests and some are in orange vests I think or something. And, sure. Uh, or, yeah, some are in green and some are in orange and they're all kicking the ball about. Uh huh. Just, just watch that video. <laughs> just, just once, play it through because it's quite surprising. <clears throat> See how observant you are, actually. Is it like the we had one that I've seen with uh, with uh, basketball? People in a bunch of yellow and black jerseys throwing a basketball, and you had to count how many times someone in an orange jersey cr touched the ball. That's what they ask you, yeah. And yeah, a guy. And in the meantime, while you're doing that, a guy in a gorilla suit comes kind of dancing through the <laughs> middle of them from one side to the other. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or actually, in yeah. this, it's people in army camouflage coming out and grabbing the the footballs and taking them away, like you know, and, <laughs> and the whole time this guy stood there in camouflage, looking straight at you, and you, you know, you just don't spot it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's. I've seen a number of those things. I love those kind of things. Um, Ah, I'm trying to remember what the phenomenon is called. Uh, psych well, memory blindness or something like that. Well, yeah, because I mean they're actually getting you to focus on the ball, so mm -hmm. they're quite. It's quite clever. It's distracting you right from the start because you're counting and watching the ball. Sure, sure. <clears throat> so things that are happening on the periphery of your vision or whatever, you're not really seeing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not paying any attention to it. Yeah. And uh, there's a. Uh, a series of videos there's there's one that is incredible um, I'll have to find them and send you a link to it uh, it's the a guys doing a magic trick it's a, a guy and a girl at a table and he's doing a magic trick with cards and he says now these cards are gonna change suit I want you to pay very close attention to it and then at the end of the video you're just astounded yeah, with the kind of stuff that they do. <coughs> um, but there's a, a magician, a street magician. Uh, another one, I'll send you a link to the video. He did that kind of thing. He went out on a street to demonstrate the, the uh, principle behind it, the psychological principle. And what he was doing is he was out on the streets of London and he was asking people, you know, he was like, how can you tell me how to get to Piccadilly, that kind of thing. And he had a map. And he'd walk up to these people and say, you know, can you show me, I'm, I'm trying to get to Piccadilly or wherever he was trying to get. And they would be sitting there, you know, looking at the map and talking to him and giving directions. And while they were doing that, these two people carrying this big painting would come along and walk between them. You know, would basically go between him and the other person. And he yeah. would change places with one of the people change, carrying the sign or carrying the painting. As it went by, he would grab the end of the painting, and the guy that had the other end would step out and grab the map, and and almost nobody ever noticed that they were talking to a different person. Amazing, isn't it? It really is. I, I like optical illusions and how the mind works. Yeah, and the, and they had it, you know, had hidden cameras showing it and all, and and the first couple of times he traded places with someone that was close to, you know, close to his build and close to his same height and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then he was like, and then we tried to see just how different we could be. And then he traded places with a black guy. He traded places with an Asian woman and all this kind of stuff. And almost nobody noticed. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it was incredible. Yeah. It makes you wonder just what the hell changes around you all the time. And it makes you understand, like, you know, why... The police don't put a lot of stock in eyewitnesses and things. Oh, it, exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
So you're going to widen this room out then? Or are you going to keep it this this sort of dimensions? I'm thinking about keeping it this dimension. Um, I think it's going to have. I think it may be a little wider here at the front. <clears throat> right. The front section, so you, can, you know, from like here here back to the wall, will probably be wider in both directions. Well, you can't really go much further back, can you? Because your steps are here. Right. Well, I don't. I don't mean that way. I mean out this way. Oh, you know, going right, that so, way yeah. and that way toward the desk. Yeah. You know, I'll probably probably take them further out that way. But I think the actual area around the furnace is going to be, you know, kind of tight and cramped and claustrophobic here. Yes. Especially once you get the catwalk up above. I think for the catwalk, I'm going to use the uh, thing that you showed me with the uh, hatches. Have oh, the, right. Have yeah. the hatches sticking out of the wall for the catwalk all the way around. Oh, that would look really good, yes. Just a, a row of, ha of uh, mm -hmm. catwalk uh, hatches down, yeah. Really yeah. look nice and industrial, especially since they don't really connect. It would look like individual like sections is <clears throat> bolted to the wall. Yeah, yeah. Don't know how it would look if, say, like every six blocks or something, you put like a a, a pillar of uh, iron bar beside it as well, so it might look like it's, it's hung on a chain or something. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Although well, I don't think it'll connect to the, it won't connect at the bottom or anything, so it wouldn't probably wouldn't have the effect. Yeah, them hatches they're quite an underused thing, really, because they, they can look quite good, like. Yeah, I think you're right. If you put a row of them and just uh, pulled them all open and left them open, it'd still mm -hmm. look really good. Yeah, I think it would. I really do. I'm, I'm, I used to put, use them as shutters for uh, windows and everything, mm -hmm. and I've got out of the habit of doing it now. But I think I'll have to go back to doing that on you know on a few of the houses I build in the village. I'm wanting to say Dwindon did that. I th I'm wanting to say he did that on a couple of his uh, sand sand buildings that he built that he used I like the, the way he's been putting fence posts in his windows instead of glass yes yes gives it a nice effect he's really inventive with things very creative hmm. all right what are you doing with my empty end of chest here? <laughs> <laughs> it keeps following me around. I know it's mine because when I open it, there's nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's something. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember uh, mimics in Dungeons and Dragons? The mimic, um, the monster that would you'd come up to a chest or something like that and go to open yeah. it and suddenly the top would pop open it have teeth and eyes and yes yes mm. yeah in uh, in Terraria once it goes into hard mode yes some of the chests and all that you find underground are actually mimics are they when you go up and you click on the chest they actually attack you <laughs> they spout cool. yeah they spout eyes and teeth and they attack you. <laughs> it's wow! Like, wow! <laughs> I've been enjoying that. Really enjoying that. Oh, I have too. Really have. And Wendon's on his own. I, I, I can tell he's always he's itching to play Terraria rather than be playing this at the moment. <laughs> yeah, there dude. you go again, floating again. Well, this time you're only half a block up. <laughs> You know, I always feel as I'm going to be walking off that edge and step fall, plummet down there into lava. <laughs> There's no lava actually down there, it's still netherrack, but it feels like I should be plummeting into lava. <laughs> well, I can put a pool of lava down there if you want me to, if it'll make you feel better. Well, it actually would then, because my fear wouldn't be groundless then, at least I'd have some reason, something to be afraid of. <laughs> I mean, when I look, the lava isn't there, but I'm still frightened of falling in it. So. 
I do like this diagonal tunnel. Yeah, if they'll just give us diagonal uh, power curved yeah, power that, tracks that, now. That is a bit of a problem with it, but the rest of it's great because the the walls have got such character being like that, you know. That's something I want to dwindify as well. What's that? That diagonal tunnel. I want to add a little bit to it, raise the roof on it some, and yeah, you're walking in up to your knees. You look like a hobbit. <laughs> I wonder when it was when you built this bro fort now then. It's going back a bit, isn't it? That's going back a long ways. Do you take fall damage coming down that them ladders now? I do occasionally. I, I always do, which you, you shouldn't do for not it's a three block drop, but the the fall damage seems really weird at the moment in, in Minecraft. It's not predictable, they've mm -hmm. randomized it a little bit. I do occasionally, every now and then I'll take like half a heart or something. Heck, over at spawn, once I took a half a heart falling through the water drop. Yeah. Well, that's because it's the same. It's like a three block drop at the bottom yeah. or whatever. Um, it's like you said. <laughs> I was watching uh, a Vex video the other day and he was he was taking fall damage when jumping a block and a half. Mm-hmm. You know, he was, saying, he was saying how weird it is. Yeah, roll a critical fumble on that one. <laughs> To love my D10. <laughs> <laughs> Far better than the D20s. I didn't, I didn't really care for them. But the D10s I loved. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched all my, I've watched the entire uh, Darths and Droids cartoon that that guy was doing. Oh yeah. All the way up to where he's currently at. He's uh they're they're currently working on a new hope. And I'm trying to remember where they are. I think they just left uh Mos Eisley. Just left Mos Eisley yeah, they've just uh, the, the Millennium Falcon has just been uh taken by the uh Death Star. Right. And oh god, it's 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 as freaking funny as the uh DM of the Rings was. <laughs> yeah, they really are good. Well, like you said, you said they're different guys, are they? It's, which is amazing. Yeah, really. totally, totally different group of people. Yeah. And in this one, yeah, I mean, you know, both of them are are all about role playing groups doing it. And yeah, in this one, Jar Jar is like the genius of the group, and. Uh, is the, the the hero of Naboo and it's just the fact they can take the exact same you know screenshots from the movie all the same screenshots and everything and write dialogue to go with it yeah that totally changes the 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 uh the emphasis of the story in such wonderfully creative ways Get some glass to take some glass. I'm gonna have to cook some more as well. I only got this bit. Hmm. Feels like I'm forever <laughs> cooking glass. Yeah. Well, heck, there was should have been that chest over there at the bowler. There was should have been a stack and a half left over that I didn't use. Thought well, of it. You won't have, have any free us. inventory spot slots, will you? You. you ain't got 20 slots you can just go and bung 20 loads of sand in there if you I've got about 10 have you? yeah alright <clears throat> oh, well in that case then uh, you bung 10 in and I'll bung 10 in ok
just to keep it going really it's a it's, it's like a never-ending task I'm completely gone through my stack of I, I used to have like nearly a double chest full of uh, blaze rods but completely mm -hmm. gone through them <laughs> That's an interesting choice of furnaces. <laughs> Leave four out of the main wall and just put four in the cot in the side. I wasn't expecting these four to be empty, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Unlike most Minecrafters, asymmetry does not bother me. <laughs> oh, get the glass. I don't know whether that'll cook. But I don't think it'll actually probably cook when we go away. Um, yeah, I think we actually have to let it stay loaded in. Yeah, I think it'll be too far away, won't it? So hang around for a bit. So are you going to start your room? Um, it's come let's play then or, or whatever? Yep. Yep. I'm look, looking forward to the first video of that going up. I said I got so <laughs> many things I want to do. I know, what happened to Doom? You never finished Doom, did you? Yep, I was thinking about Doom today too, because I was sitting there and it was staring at me very accusingly on my hard drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Going, hey, what about me? Or actually, it's staring at me from the table over here, because it's... I haven't loaded it back onto the hard drive yet, ever since the... Uh, the uh, hard drive crash I had. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm forever finding programs. I suddenly want to program and thinking, why isn't that working? Like today, Adobe Reader, I couldn't read something because I didn't... I was, actually, I was looking at the manual for XCOM. Have you looked at the manual for XCOM on Steam? No, I haven't. I haven't looked at the manual for either of the two games yet. Well, it will do, It will give you a great laugh if you look at the manual for XCOM. Cool. I mean, five pages <laughs> long. One page is the, the, the picture of the screen and one, and one uh -huh. page is the credits. So it's like three pages that tell you absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know how to pick up somebody else's gun, you know, and when they're lying on the floor and they've been killed or something, because I should be able to pick up their weapons. But mm -hmm. it says you can do when you when you know, like when you get certain things researched. It says now if you find them on the battlefield, you can use them. Sure. But I can't find anything at my feet or anywhere on the battlefield. Hmm. Go and stand over somebody's corpse, and I don't know how to look at it or anything. And then I don't know whether or not <clears throat> you get back what they had. Like, you know, if you've got a guy with a plasma rifle, does he? Do you get it back when he dies, or if does he it? Gets is killed, it lost? Yeah. yeah. If you complete the mission, you know, and you get everything from the mission, doesn't? Do you get the plasma rifle back? Yeah, I really think that you know, most game companies. That's why they have, you know, such long tutorials like that one does. I think between you know a third or a fourth of the game being tutorial yeah and the fact where they go you know I think in the back of their mind they think well everybody's going to go look at the wiki anyway <laughs> yeah these days now yeah yeah you know yeah, back I, when, I never even thought it might have a wiki back when you know think back whenever the the original XCOM came out yeah, uh, imagine you know. You remember what the state of the World Wide Web was just was then. 
it yeah. was just getting started and like everything was was uh, GeoCities horrible GeoCities pages and that kind of stuff and compare that now to what we have now <clears throat> Boy, it's impressive seeing an entire wall of furnaces lit up and the little flames sparkling on it. Yeah, I actually missed my animated furnaces. Squint your yeah. eyes, it almost looks like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 